Hello YouTube, it's me Maddie Makes and today I'm going to be um, doing a video on how to create a chart for a monthly bill tracker that I'm going to create later. Um, I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it, okay? We're going to, instead of doing it in Word, because in Word, when you insert a table in Word, it only allows you to create one inch box one inch boxes, I think. It won't get smaller than that. And I want it to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to try this in Excel. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll move on to the next thing. But for our purposes today, we're going to try it in Excel. So what I have here is I've opened Excel and I already know that I need, because um, remember I have um, uh, written down a, a what I envision this look to look like, okay? So I know that I need four columns, okay? So one, two, three, four, right? And now I'm thinking, I'm just thinking, y'all, I don't know if it's true. I'm going to go down about, um, I'm going to say 20 lines, okay? Because this is a monthly bill tracker. I, I want to believe that nobody has that many bills. But I don't know. So forgive me if someone out there does. OK, so now what we need to do is we need to uh, create borders in here. So let me see if I can remember where the borders are. No, I can't remember where the borders are. I'm sorry. y'all. Oh, right here. I don't use this that often. So we're going to say we're going to click on this little thing here is borders. And we're going to do outside borders. OK. So now if you look, we have outside borders, right? Oh, we got too many. Okay, well, let's undo that. I didn't mean to go to, I only meant to go A through D. And again, down to 20. Now we're gonna go back there and we're gonna click outside borders again. So now we're all good. The other thing is that we have to, this is a chart that we're going to be writing in. So like we need to make some space for writing, right? So let's, you come right up here at the top of the column and it turns into a cross. And so you open it as wide as you want to open it. Okay. So now I'm opening them, plenty of writing space. And there we have it. We have A through D, and then we have our other 20 lines, okay? And so now, I think even I want to make the, um, let's see if we can't make that outside border. Oops, I didn't mean to push bold. Let's take that off, borders. Here we go, right here. And I want to change my line style. And that just means that you you get this box here and you can change how your 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 border looks, okay? I just made it a little bit thicker. Oh, a pencil popped up. Uh let's go to click on line. Nope, the color's right. And it wants me to do something here. But what is that? Ah, look at that, y'all. I learned that today. That's all fine. Oops, oops, oops. Perfect. I learned that was something I learned new, y'all. Look how it turned into a pencil. I wanted you to draw on the line, and there we have a thicker border. Awesome sauce. Okay, so now we have what we need. The other thing we need to do, you guys, is inside of here, um, we need to make these fields a little bit bigger as well, okay? So let's try that and see if it works. There we go. Uh oh So I had to come over here. We're learning, we're learning. I came over here by the um, one. And now, as you can see, it's a little bit um, wider, okay? And then over here, I'm going to do the same thing, make it a little bit wider. And if you look real close, if you click there, it'll tell you it's 27.5 uh -oh, is what I had. 
27.5. Which I'm struggling to get back to, but bear with me. 27.75. Okay. <clears throat> and we're going to do, I want to see if I can copy and paste all of these all the way down. Let's see. So we don't have to manually do each one. Control V. That doesn't work. Not going to work. I was trying, y'all. So that means that we have to manually go in and let me see if it'll do one. May not do all of them, but. Yep, it'll do one. So we're going to click on each box and we're just going to hit Control V all the way down. Praise God, y'all. Praise God. That was going to be a long process. Now 14. That was 15. We learned some new stuff today. Yay. I like when I learn something new. Okay. You guys still with me there? Okay, that was a little bit of a process, okay? But now we can click off. We're going to hit escape on a keyboard, okay? Because we want that, that thing to go away, that moving thing. I don't know what else to call it. Now we're going to, what do we want these rows to be called? So I have some things um, that I'm thinking about putting in here. So we're going to put bill. I don't know if I should put build name or bill. I don't know. I'll think about it later. You guys get the idea. Mount. You just arrow over, you guys. I'm just pushing the arrow on the keyboard and I'm typing what I want. Um, due date. And we want to put paid. And I guess I'm going to say paid, yes or no. No, paid. We'll just leave it at paid. We'll, we'll do something else. So then we're going to come back over here and we're going to highlight these. Now, me, I'm funny. I want them center. So I'm going to come up here to this box and I'm going to click on center. And boom, we have it. We have it. And then I want them to be able to... Um, Circle yes or no. Okay. And that's what I'm going to put right here. And then I'm going to center that. No, I'm going to copy it first. No, I'm going to center it first so that the center carries with it. Center. And then I'm going to do another control C. Control, control C is nothing more than the um, copy that's all it is it's just the keyboard version okay so in case you didn't know that control c is to copy from the keyboard and control v is to paste from the keyboard okay i'm going to click on this next box and i'm going to go all the way down to our 20 row 20 and then i'm going to go control v and now they can circle whether or not it's paid okay here they would put the name of their bill their amount and the due date right and then I want to make this font a little bit bigger. So that's what I'm going to do here. So we can see better. Yeah, like that. And then, so I'm changing the font. You go right up here. I'm clicking on it, going right up here, change the font to an 18. Because we need to be able to see that, right? Oops, 18. All right, so it's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to highlight this, okay? I'm going to highlight all of these, I think. We're going to see what happens because, you know, one thing about it is we can always undo it. That's the one good thing about Microsoft products. If you make a mistake, so what? Just go flip back up here and just undo what you did the last time. Great thing about them. Okay, so now... We need to create some distinction between these borders because they all look like they're running together, right? And by that, I mean we got to go back up to borders. And let's see what we got here. Hmm. All borders. Boom. There we go. 
there we go. Isn't that cool, you guys? Okay, so now we have created our chart. And once again, I think I might, let me click off of this. I might want to go up here and make the name of the bill a little bit long, wider, okay? Just a little bit wider. And I might even want to make, now the amount is good. Due date is good. We're good, right? Boom, you guys. Look, we have created our, you're going to see how this connects because in another video, I, had, I, I made this so that it can go into the planner, the insert for the planner, okay? So we're going to take it one step at a time. So we got this done. It was real simple, right? Easy way for you to, you know, um, look at this hot mess I got going on here, you guys. Should we have capital or should we have um, lowercase? I, and so all of these are lowercase. So I'm going to go ahead and make this lowercase because it's looking a little crazy to me. We fixed that, okay? Now we're good. And so... This here, I'm going to hope, we're going to see when we do the next video, I'm going to hope that this chart is going to copy and paste nicely into a Canva document because it's easier to create it here than it would have been in Canva. We would have been all day doing a video and it's just not worth all of that, right? We want to free up our time to do other things, not take one day just to create one, one of these sales, right? Okay, so with that said, I hope you liked the video. Please watch for part two where you will see me attempt to insert this into an insert in Canva. Okay, if you like the video, you guys, please, the thumbs up really helps. And um, if you like the things that you see on my channel, I'd appreciate a subscription. All right. All right, you guys, until next time.